One thing the experienced experimenter will see right away is the similarity of the hybrid exciter to the 18-1 series exciters. The primary difference in this diagram is how the source battery is connected to the hybrid exciter. You see here that I'm indicating a 12 volt battery with the negative laying containing a 1 16th amp fuse connected to two electrolytic capacitors which are connected polarity as indicated on the diagram. The AV plug, if you notice how it's connected, the upper diode, the cathode end, is connected back to the plus rail. The anode end is connected back to the center tap of the two capacitors, the same location as where the source battery is connected. Now please look at the caution on this diagram. I have cautioned the capacitor CB is a problem. This capacitor over time will eventually bubble or gas off internally and bulge. If you're not careful it can take and short out or blow up on you so you want to be very careful with this and be sure you have a low enough amperage fuse in there to prevent any type of shorting across your circuit. Here in this diagram I've included an ammeter. This is to show you the amount of current that should be flowing in the hybrid circuit. Remember the cautions of the fuse. Uh, I would recommend a 1 16th amp. Be sure of the polarities of the capacitors. This circuit will work on 10 microfarads, uh, 50 volt capacitors. You can use larger ones, but that's not necessary. In the following parts on the hybrid exciter, I'll explain in more detail the other components that you see in the diagram.